long, 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 long. I can finally shake hands with my beloved Mippity Mop. I have 300 tickets to use up. By my valuation, that means I get to spend a lot of quality time with her. And that's a no. <laughs> Asahi. Yeah, yeah. What do I do? I got all worked up and overstimulated during the concert. Oh, boy. Mippity Mop is still so green, but her stage presence is beyond godly. She's a natural born idol through and through. Oh, I just want to touch her hand so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go. Good call. Goggles never showed after all, huh? Which suggests that he is the Deluser. But if so, why hasn't the entrance to the Delusionscape materialized yet? Maybe we're overlooking something. Or someone. You might be right. Let's go over the facts again and try to sort things out. Sure, but let's do it on Junk Street. The event's all but over at this point. Taro really our deluser here, or not? Everybody else is recycling the same old lines and been pumped to shake Ryu's hand like it's their first time. You know, maybe I should get in on the whole handshake thing myself. That's it! That's the answer! But what is? Did you figure it out? We've been thinking much too narrowly this whole time. Even within all the repeated words, there have been clues. What kinds of clues? It all comes back to the handshake event itself. Think about it. You're gonna have to enlighten me here. Well, first there was Chunk Widebody. Do you remember what he said? <laughs> Not that, you dingus. He said... Oh, I just want to touch your hand so badly. <laughs> that he wanted to touch Ryu's hand. And then there was Twiggy Slims. Do you remember what he said? By my valuation. <sighs> what he said was... Which is why I simply must leave my dear Mippity Mop with a lasting impression. Give her the handshake of a lifetime. That he wanted to leave a lasting impression on Ryu. What I'm getting at is, neither of them had actually shaken Ryu's hand yet when we spoke with them. But Megane Taro was a different story. I was one of the f first in line to shake her hand. Can't believe she gave a guy like me such a kind smile. Her hand was so t tiny, too. I don't think I can bring myself to wash this hand for the rest of the day. He said he couldn't bring himself to wash his hand, remember? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm picking up what you're putting down. Old Goggles had already shaken Ryu's hand. Nailed it! The only person to have actually gotten his handshake was the only person to change his speech. But doesn't that just confirm that he's our deluser? It takes two people to shake hands, Asahi. You don't mean... I do. Our deluser is none other than Mippity Mop herself, Ryu Mimose. Whoa, I didn't even consider her. But wait, if that's the case, then... I know what you're going to ask. Why is Megane Taro the only one who didn't show up today? Yeah, it doesn't add up. I mean, the other two theoretically had their hands shaken eventually, right? If the hand shakes the key, they should be exhibiting some differences with each loop too, right? It could be us. Our interference may have altered the course of events. 
What do you mean by our interference? We're unaffected by the reset effect of the time loop. Outsiders in a world on repeat. And when we thought we were onto something, we sought to disrupt Megane Taro's actions. Lord Almighty, Asahi! Control your stomach! We're trying to have a serious conversation here! Huh? That wasn't me. That has to have been you, Pinkoon. My stomach noises are much cuter and more delicate, like puppies playing beautiful music on a harp in a garden. Well, that just leaves... I'm sorry, Pinkoon. Yeah? It... it was me. Yeah? Uh, do you want to go get something to eat? It's getting late. We can have a nice meal, then break till tomorrow. Thanks. I'd like that. Yeah, let's do it! I'm in the mood for some nice fatty tuna myself. How about no? You can't even eat in public, can you? No good jerk face meat. What say you to ramen? I've got a craving and know this great spot on the edge of Junk Street that I bet you'd love. You down, Saki? It would be my first time. Do you think I'd be okay? I mean, aren't ramen joints kind of scary? What have people been telling you? In this day and age, even lone high school girls don't bat an eye at eating ramen. Yeah, but I'm a country girl with simple tastes. I like my Jiro-style broth with quail eggs and my tonkotsu noodles firm. Yo, that's pro-tier ramenology. You are definitely not a simple country girl. You might even be able to out-ramen me. Anyway, just follow me. I won't steer you wrong on this one. Thank you, Asahi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh man, I'm beat. But you're hardly late at all. For you, that's quite the accomplishment. Hey, I can get stuff done when I put my mind to it. Shame it's such a rare occurrence. But now we have time to question people both before and after their handshakes. Right, and we'll need to pay special attention to how that changes things. Any sign of goggles today? None, I'm afraid. Which is why we need to be extra vigilant and try to find the real source of this delusion. <laughs> hmm? What do I do? What should I say to her? What can I say to her? This is new, right? Yeah. He's even got a different vibe in general today. Asahi, if you please. Hey, you got a minute? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. Has Mippity Mop already shaken everybody's hands yet? Uh, no, it hasn't started. Right now, I'm trying to... <laughs> trying to figure out what to say to her when it's my turn. Uh, I've got to figure out how I can make Mippity Mop feel better. <laughs> because I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Wait for me, Mippity Mop. You may be onto something, Saki. That was even weirder than usual. But what does it mean? Nobody's even shaken Ryu's hand yet. At long last, the handshake event with Mippity Mop begins! Oh, I'm so nervous! By my valuation, the most appropriate words for a situation like this are Check it out, Saki. The handshake event hasn't started yet, but he's already acting differently than yesterday. Let's see where this goes. What can I do to fill the hole in Mibbity Mop's heart? Even my valuations have failed to provide me an answer. And the shaking of the hands will begin so soon. Could it be that my valuations have gone completely awry? Ah, <sighs> but you are priceless, Mippity Mop. You are sacred and majestic. I offer you all that I have to give. We're definitely pre-handshake, but none of this fits my theory. The conversation has definitely taken a turn for the weirder, I'll say that.
Everybody's different this time around. Okay, I officially have no idea what's going on anymore. I'm just as lost as you are. Something's afoot for sure. But what? Well, the answers won't come to us if we're just standing around here. Wanna go grab a bite? I could use a break. You know what? That sounds great. Let's cool our heads for a bit and come back with a fresh perspective. How about curry today? I know a really good spot, though it's a little bit of a haul from here. N no! No, ramen's fine with me. I mean, I'm not a fan of greasy foods, but I wouldn't want to make you walk. The place we went yesterday's fine. Nah, it's cool. The walk's really not all that bad. Plus, eating at the same place two days in a row is a little... I don't care. My heart's set on ramen now, so ramen it shall be. The same shop we enjoyed yesterday, too. Guess even my meals aren't safe from this time loop. Oh, Kotari ramen two days in a row is not easy on the old stomach. Y you think? I thought it was just as easy to eat today as it was yesterday. Weren't you saying you're not that into ramen? <laughs> what was all that about? Whoever she was, she looked like she was in a hurry. She was indeed. Very cute and constructed, though. Like an idol. Wait, do you think it was Mippity Mop? Asahi, take cover! <laughs> Mippity Poo! Wait for me! Wait for me! Why won't you tell us what happened? Is my valuation incorrect? What's going on? Are her fans chasing her? Something's not right here. Asahi, we have to follow them! Hey, wait! Ow! Let go of my arm! Come on, run! Wait, wait! If we want to catch up, we should go this way. It's a shortcut. We'll head them off at the pass. Here. Ah! Don't worry. He may look like one of them, but you can trust him. He'll keep you safe. One of them? Look, just hide behind me, Mippity Mop. That should keep you out of eye shot. Oh, okay. By my valuation, she should be over here somewhere. Mippity Mop, where did you go? <laughs> Onward, white body. Let us resume our search over that away. <laughs> ha! Ooh, I think we lost them. Um, thank you. Both of you. No, no, think nothing of it. You're Ryu Mimose, are you not? Oh, are you familiar with my work? Familiar nothing? We were at your big event at the Versailles. Oh my gosh, really? Wow, thank you so much! You idols sure do have it rough, though. Were those two idiots waiting in the shadows to harass you or something? No, 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 it's nothing like that. They weren't harassing me. Those people are fans who've come out to cheer me on, even though I'm still so new and inexperienced. Not harassers. Fans are harassers, it still looked like you were running for your life. That was just a little misunderstanding. It was all my fault. Wow. Taking the blame for being chased by your fans. You couldn't be a more picture-perfect idol if you tried. Oh, no, I'm not just saying that. I, I really mean it. Honest. <laughs> Still, it makes me so happy to hear you say something so nice about me. God, how can you be so cute? Excuse me, Asahi. I'm noticing a distinct difference between the way you address her and the way you address me. Well, duh. I'm starting to think I'm gonna have to stand in that handshake line tomorrow myself. Actually... Huh. Yesterday, it was right about now that we... Hmm. Hmm? What are you...
you doing? Mibbity Mop didn't come this way at all yesterday, did she? Which means... <sighs> Finally catching on, are you? Those two fans chasing her all the way out here worry me, though. It's very strange. Uh, sorry to interrupt you guys, but is something wrong? What? Wrong? No, oh, no, it's nothing, sorry. Just, you know, private. Now that I think of it, we might want to skedaddle. Good plan. There's a chance those two fans might double back this way. Why don't you let me see you off? B but I don't want to trouble you. Trust me, he'd be happy to. And though he's a neat, he knows Akihabara like the back of his hand. So no matter where you need to be, I'm sure that he'll get you there safely. Not sure if compliment or insult. Well, are you 100% sure it wouldn't be a bother? 200%. In fact, I'd be more bothered if I couldn't escort you back. Thank you so very much! So where exactly do you need to go? To Akihabara Station, if you don't mind. But if it's too far, you can just leave me right here. It's totally fine. Roger that. No matter where you need to go in Akihabara, I'll make sure that you get there safe and sound. I've never seen you so eager, Asahi. here. A little late to be asking this now, but are you sure you don't need us to escort you any farther? Oh, no, 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 this is fine. Thank you so very much. I take the train from here every day, so I'll be a-okay. You're so sweet and modest for an idol. What would you say to Big Sis Saki buying you some candy sometime? <laughs> I'd love that. Asahi, Saki, thank you both so much for taking care of me today. Ah! An idol actually knows my name! Is now really the time for this, Asahi? Oh, and feel free to call me Ryu! Once again, thank you ever so much! From the very bottom of my heart! So, uh, is it okay that we just let her go like that? Yeah, I think we've done all we can for today. But these strange events are really perturbing. You mean Mippity Mop's behavior? Ryu's certainly a part of it. But her two pursuant fans and the still absent Megane Taro only deepen the mystery. I feel like we're getting close to cracking the case, though. Tomorrow, we may finally get our answers. Yo, Saki, why is this so much fun for you? Huh? It's just, I don't think most people would take the whole delusions encroaching upon reality thing so well. I guess I like it when my life isn't predictable. And you have to admit, nullifying delusions is pretty fun. Who'd want to go to school day in and day out anyway? And be the same as everyone else? It's boring. Wearing the same uniform as everyone else? Doing the same things after school? I hated it. Then one day, I found a mysterious door. At first, I had no idea what I was looking at. But I went through anyway. And I met someone strange on the other side. Someone who taught me what I know now. About the delusionscape, the delusions that inhabit it, and the necessity of nullifying it all. Regular people didn't understand. How could they? They couldn't even see it. Only a select few can nullify delusions. In my mind, it sounded like someone was saying, We finally found you. On that day, my life was changed forever. So from then on, I've been living as a chosen one. Wow, this is the first I've heard of any of that. It happened a short time before I met you, Pinkun. A chosen one, huh? I wouldn't mind being chosen. Chosen to sit on my butt all day as the world passes me by. Oh, come on. I was trying to be forthcoming in everything. There's no such thing as a chosen meat, dingus. Nobody wants the Lord of the Lazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, this unchosen neat is about to head back to his neat realm in which he is Lord of the Lazy. Later. Remember, 
We meet tomorrow at the event space. And promise you won't be late. I never make a promise I can't keep. And he's late. <sighs> it wasn't my fault. My futon just loves me too much to let me go. Somehow, I believe that. You do spend a lot of time together. But I should really stop putting my faith in you. S sorry Well, you didn't waste the entire day. The concert's nearly over, though, so let's hurry up and ask some questions. But advanced warning, there's something particularly off about the fans today. Huh? How so? They all seem so... despondent? You'll see what I mean when you talk to them. Come on, let's get investigating. <laughs> Mippity Mop, what's wrong? Hey, did something happen? I'm not getting any murmurings from Mippity Mop. <laughs> That's it. I can't take it. I'm so worried. It's making me thirsty. Sorry, but I gotta go buy a soda pop. <laughs> not getting any murmurings? my valuation, she must have found a boyfriend. It's the only explanation. And if it's true, she'll have to retire outright. Hey, mind telling me what's going on? Not now! You'll have to come back later. I can't take my eyes away from this for even a single second. What was that all about? Why in the world would she have to retire? Hey, are you okay? You don't think yesterday's incident with those two fans has anything to do with all this, do you? I can't imagine it would, since today's concert went off without a hitch. That's true. The crowd went just as wild as they always do. Even the handshake event started without incident. Idols really have it tough, don't they? All it takes is one boyfriend and their career is over in the blink of an eye. Yeah, Slim's McKenzie was saying something about that, wasn't he? Hmm. The other man said something odd, too. Something about not being able to hear her murmurings anymore? Yeah, that was weird. Wait, I think I see what's going on here. You do? Saki, can I borrow your phone? Huh? Uh, sure. Time for some cyber investigation. Let's check out Mippity Mop's Quipper account. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. I see. Now the pieces are all falling into place. She stopped updating her quipper, so some of her fans have speculated that she's seeing someone. Megane Taro mentioned her quipper on that first day. He said she never misses her daily updates. This is it. This has got to be the X Factor we're looking for. She must have quipped about how anxious she was yesterday after going through the time loop. That would make all of her fans extra worried about her, for sure. Up until then, her quips were probably all bubbly and happy and idol-like. But that doesn't explain Goggles. He noticed something was up day one. I think I know why. The first day the idol delusion was formed, Megane Taro was first in line to shake Ryu's hand and was overjoyed. Yeah, he said he'd never wash his hand again. You've got to be pretty happy to be that gross. But then on the second day, he was the only person to worry about Ryu after shaking her hand. Now I get it. She sent out her daily quip as usual, but couldn't hide her bewilderment when she saw him again. She probably woke up early and noticed that it was Sunday all over again. And who'd be prepared for that? If an ordinary girl were placed into extraordinary circumstances, it would be rather hard for her to hide her unease. But Mippity Mop's no ordinary girl, and she had fans anxiously waiting for her. Yep, and not wanting to let them down, she pretended not to worry about the time loop, and the event went on. Each day, she was getting more and more disturbed, and we didn't even notice. Come on, 
We've got to head her off at Akihabara Station. She might be taking the train home any minute now. Just to super confirm, you really think Mippity Mop's the source of the delusion? Take a moment to ask yourself, is there any other possibility? Well, I mean, you know, there's... I don't like it any more than you do. She's so courteous and personable that it hurts to doubt her. But the facts are the facts. She has a lot to be concerned about, a lot to delude herself about. <gasps> Good to see you again. Sorry, do I know you? Ryu, you don't have to pretend. We know you remember us. You remember us seeing you off at this very station just yesterday, don't you? Yesterday? I had yesterday off, so I was at home sewing the entire day. Like heck you were! Yesterday you were being chased around by your obnoxious fans! N none of my fans are obnoxious! Don't be mean to them like that! Oh? So you heard that voice just now? Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Pinkoon! <gasps> only a few very special people can hear or see Pinkoon. And I think you know what I'm going to say next, don't you? I do. Guess you found me out, huh? I'm sorry. I swear, though, we don't mean you any harm. We also don't intend to tell your fans. Why don't you come with us and we'll continue this discussion elsewhere? All right. Ryu, would you mind telling us your side of the story? Saki... I'm sorry, but I have to ask. I know that, but... It's alright. I don't mind, really. I'm the one at fault, after all. Mippity... Okay, Ryu. Tell me. Okay. Ever since I was really, really little, I always wanted to be a pop idol. I loved to sing and dance, of course, but I also loved watching other idols sing and dance, too. And I started to think... Wouldn't it be great if idols were even bigger? And I dreamed of what that would be like. Did you say dreamed? And then a few days ago, that dream of mine came true. My manager called me out of the blue and told me I was scheduled for an event in Akihabara. At first I thought it had to be a mistake. But then I thought, if it's real, it's too exciting to say no. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. But I did exactly what I was told and went straight to Akihabara. And when I got here, I couldn't hide my shock. They really did set up an event just for me. But it didn't take me long to realize that it was all just part of my dream. Still, I was so happy. My dream was right there, right in front of me. Until it started coming true day after day. Then it started to scare me. It scares me to know that my selfish wish could cause so much trouble for my fans. They're all prisoners. Prisoners in my never-ending dream, and that's all I know. I know I must sound crazy, so if you don't believe me, I understand. We do believe you, Ryu. Every word. Thank you so much for telling us that. But this is not a dream, nor anything else nearly as grand or wondrous. It's your delusion. N delusion But that's what we are here for. We want to help nullify your delusion. We want to get you out of this. And if we do, this'll all go away. The delusion will lose its grip on reality, and everything will revert to normal. Saki, seriously, that's... Necessary. There's no other way to go about this. We can't ignore delusions that eat away at reality. Yeah, but that's a lot for someone to take in all at once. Can't you ease her into it or something? So if you do, uh, nullify my delusion, what happens exactly? Well, uh... About that. It'll be as if your event never happened. What? It'll all go away. Everything will be a blank slate. But... But that's reality. That's the way things really are. 
What about all my fans? They'll forget everything they did at the event. And even that the event ever existed. And what will happen... to me? The same thing. You'll forget everything that happened and relive your Sunday the way it was meant to be lived. But that's... that's so... I'm sorry, Ryu, but I'm afraid there's no other choice. This delusion needs to be brought to an end. <gasps> Nibbity, I... I'm so sorry, everyone. So, you understand what has to be done? I'm sorry! Uh, Nippity, wait! She's faster than she looks. Why do I feel like we're definitely the bad guys in this situation? Stow it! We're defending reality from the merciless encroachment of delusion. Yeah, but still, we probably could have handled that a little better. We gonna chase after her now? It wouldn't be easy to find her here. Not with all these people milling about. So, what? Do we just let her run? That doesn't seem like the best idea to me. Even given how much we've shaken her, there's no guarantee it'll make the entrance to the delusion scape appear. If it doesn't, then we'll just raise a ruckus tomorrow to finish the job. How are we going to do that if she skips out on her event? Shouldn't be a concern. She came today, after all, and saw the event through to its completion. She's not the type to abandon her fans. She'll be at the event tomorrow, I'm sure of it. <sighs> this is just getting complicated now, isn't it? Well, I guess we can pick it up in the morning then. Or the afternoon, in your case. Tomorrow we infiltrate the Delusionscape, so try to get to bed early tonight. We'll see. Nice work today. I like her too, you know. And I don't want to hurt her any more than you do. No one, I'm home! Man, I'm extra bush today. But Nippity's probably even more exhausted, all things considered. If my delusion were made manifest, could I bring myself to see it destroyed? And would I be able to destroy it? I wonder what kind of delusion I'd even have, anyway. What would I want so badly that it'd start seeping into reality? Hmm. Oh, dang, it's not even midnight. Oh well. Good night, Squalor. Who? Uh, huh? So early. Rise and shine, dingus! P pink coon Asahi, come on, we have to hurry! Huh? Why? What's going on? And how did you get in, trespassers? Hey, you're the one who left the door unlocked. Anyway, we have to go, now! Things are looking real bad! Yeah, I get that, but what do you mean? Ryo's event's been called off! What?! You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. How can the event be cancelled? What am I supposed to do with my hundreds of handshake tickets? 
What's going on? We deserve an explanation. <laughs> yeah, and if it's not a good one, we're not giving up on seeing our sweet Mippity Mop. This is chaos. What happened? Ryu announced on Quipper that the event is off. They're making fools of us! By my valuation, failure to get reimbursed for this event will result in riots! Come out and apologize for this! We know you can hear us! <laughs> Man, they're really getting wild! If Ryu were here to see this, I can't even imagine how she'd react. Traitor! Give me back my savings! <laughs> no! No! Everybody stop! It's not what you think! Whoa, it's Goggles! What's he doing here? Mippity Mop hasn't b betrayed us! She's n not a traitor! She loves her fans more than anyone else! You shut your mouth right now, or you'll need a new pair of glasses, Four Eyes! Mippity Mop is having medical issues. She has to be. She would never leave us like this otherwise. By my valuation, she has committed a grave offense against us this day, which cannot be easily rescinded or remedied. Give us Mippity Mop! We want Mippity Mop! <laughs> What do we do, Asahi? This is all our fault. We never should have driven real.